G'day, welcome to my channel. I'm Creative Flair and this is the series where we take a little stroll down Ramsey Street and get to know Australia's most iconic neighbourhood in the fictional town of Erinsborough. On this tour, we're going right back to the mid 80s and Neighbours' humble beginnings. The first stop is number 22, originally a rental with an unknown owner. This house first featured a year into the series in 1986 when Clive Gibbons became a tenant. Let's knock on the door, shall we? During his tenancy, Clive invited Daphne Lawrence, Zoe Davis and Mike Young to move in. Susan Cole later moved in when she and Clive began a relationship. After Susan left Ramsey Street, Clive moved out of number 22 and into a flat behind his office. Following Clive's departure, Paul Robinson purchased number 22 on behalf of the Daniels Corporation, who wanted the land to build a supermarket. After the deal fell through, Paul moved in. Later he married Gail Lewis, and together they lived as man and wife until their 1989 divorce. Paul's first tenants were twins Caroline and Christine Alessi. Paul later married Christine Alessi and moved back in with their son Andrew. In 1992, Caroline, Christina, Paul and Andrew moved out of number 22. Paul's next tenants were Benito and Kathy Alessi and their sons Marco and Rick. In 1992, Marco was the first to leave, followed by Benito and Kathy in 1993, causing Rick to also move out of number 22. Following that, number 22 remained empty for a while until Paul leased it to the Lim family, who stayed there for a month. Paul then sold number 22 to Cheryl Stark, who moved in with her son Brett and daughter Danny. After they briefly moved out with Cheryl's partner, Lou Carpenter, all four moved back in and Louise Carpenter, Lolly, was born. After Cheryl's death in 1996, Brett and Danny moved out and Cheryl's eldest son, Darren, moved in along with Marlene Kratz to help Lou raise Lolly. Marlene left Erinsborough in 1997 followed by Darren in 1998. Lolly left when it was revealed that Lou was not her biological father. Lou began to take in boarders, Jared Toadfish Rebecca, Drew Kirk and Darcy Tyler. After Drew married Libby Kennedy, they rented number 22 briefly from Lou after their son Ben was born. After Drew's death, Libby and Ben moved out of number 22 back into number 28 with Libby's parents. Nina Tucker and her mother Trixie moved into number 22 with Lou, but later moved out in 2003. When Lou experienced financial hardship, he sold number 22 to Valda Sheargold, but stayed on as a tenant until Valda sold the house back to Paul Robinson. Paul's first move was to evict Lou and move in his girlfriend, Isabel Hoyland. Paul's daughter, Elle, moved in also, followed by her brothers, Cameron and Robert. After Robert went to prison and Cameron died, Isabel left Ramsey Street in 2006. Paul then invited Lynn Scully to move in after she was forced to sell her own house. Lynn then left Aronsborough for Shelley Bay following her brief marriage to Paul. When Elle discovered Paul had deceived her and was involved in her breakup with Dylan Timmons, Elle devised a plan to trick Paul into signing over all his assets to her. Elle then took in Ned Parker as a lodger and later let Paul move back in. Ned later moved back out into number 26. Paul asked Rebecca Napier to move into number 22 with her son Declan. 
But when Paul's affair with Kirsten Gannon was exposed, Rebecca and Declan moved out again. Elle then forced Paul to move out and later asked Donna Friedman to move in and live with her in number 22. Elle invited her boyfriend Lucas Fitzgerald to move in with her. After Rebecca, Declan and India were forced out of number 26, they then returned to number 22 to live. Elle then sold the house back to Paul to ease her financial trouble and departed Erinsborough for a job. Then Paul's youngest son Andrew returned to Erinsborough and moved in. After leaving Paul, Rebecca, Declan and India move out. Sophie Ramsey then moved into number 22 in 2011, followed by her sister Kate in 2012. The following year, Sophie and Andrew left Erinsborough and Paul and Kate also left number 22. After a makeover, number 22 became home to the Willis family, Brad, Therese, Imogen, Josh in 2013. After two years in Canada, the youngest Willis, Piper, returned to her family, moving in in 2015, just as her parents' marriage was falling apart. Also in 2015, Brad moved out of number 22 and into number 32 with Lauren Turner and her family. He returned briefly to number 22 to care for an injured Therese. In 2016, Paul moved out of his Lassiter's penthouse apartment briefly and returned to number 22. After Josh Willis was killed in the Lassiter's explosion, Paul moved out and was framed and imprisoned for the explosion. Helping her to grieve for her brother, Piper took in Clementine the cat, who remained number 22's resident pet until 2020. After marrying Paul's nephew Daniel Robinson, Imogen Willis moves with him to the US for a job. Between 2017 and 2018, Brad's daughter with Lauren, Paige Smith, moved into number 22 with her son Gabrielle, joining Therese and Piper. Later, Ned Willis, Brad's son with his former wife, Beth Brennan, also moved in. In 2019, Piper moved away and Paul Robinson moved back into number 22 prior to marrying Therese. Then Roxy Willis and Paul's granddaughter Harlow Robinson moved into number 22. Therese then invited Brittany Barnes and her daughter Abigail Tanaka to briefly stay before kicking out a continually deceptive Paul and later Harlow for expressing her support for her grandfather. To Paul's disappointment, Therese invited his half-brother, Glenn Donnelly, to move into number 22 to help her to stay sober. Roxy then moved out following her marriage. And then Ned also moved out and moved to Sydney. Then Therese's estranged mother, Estelle Petridis, temporarily moved into number 22. In the lead up to the series finale, Therese Willis prepared to say goodbye to number 22 and Erinsborough. However, after the breakup of Therese and Glenn, Therese and Paul rekindled their marriage. Therese shut down the sale of number 22 and chose to stay in Erinsborough, presumably to live happily ever after with Paul Robinson. Now let's move on to number 24 the first of the three original houses. Let's knock on the door, shall we? The first of the three original houses, number 24, was associated with the Ramsey family when the show began. Max Ramsey, his wife Maria, and their two sons, Shane and Danny, were the first family in the show to live in number 24. After their departures, Max's sister Madge Mitchell arrived with her children Charlene Mitchell and Henry Ramsey, along with Max and Madge's brother Tom. Charlene and Madge's husband Scott Robinson and Harold Bishop moved in after their respective weddings. Madge and Harold took in Brenda Riley and her nephew Guy Carpenter and later his father Lou Carpenter. 
After Madge's departure from the series in 1992, Lou took in a number of lodgers, including Beth Brennan, Cameron Hudson and Annalise Hartman. Marlene Kratz bought number 24 and moved in with her grandson, Sam Kratz. They took in Cody Willis as a lodger when her parents moved away. Annalise's sister Joanna Hartman also moved in. Cheryl Stark and her daughter Louise Carpenter, Lolly, moved into number 24 and were later joined by Cheryl's son, Darren Stark, who stayed until Cheryl's death. Harold returned to Erinsborough and reunited with Madge, leading them to buy number 24. They fostered teenagers Paul McLean and Ted Reeves until Madge's death in 2001. Harold was joined by his granddaughters, Sky Mangle and Serena Bishop, his son David Bishop and daughter-in-law Liliana. After David and his family died in a plane crash, Marco Silvani and Camilla Camanetti rented number 24. Afterwards, Harold gave number 24 to the Salvation Army. Donna Friedman's mother Cassandra and half-siblings Simon and Tegan were the first family to move into number 24 at the start of 2009. A locket belonging to Anne Robinson was found underneath the house, which led to the revelation that Anne and Max Ramsey had a daughter, Jill, whose daughters Kate and Sophie and son Harry moved into number 24. They took in Lucas Fitzgerald and Vanessa Valanti and Lou. In 2012, the Kapoor family, AJ, his wife Priya and their daughter Rani moved in and number 24 underwent a makeover. Mark Brennan rented and eventually bought number 24 and Paige Smith took over the spare room. Mark's siblings, Tyler, Aaron and later Chloe joined him. Aaron's husband, David Tanaka, moved in with the family before he and Aaron purchased number 32. Ellie Conway briefly moved in when she became engaged and later married to Mark. Following Mark's departure, he rented the house to Chloe and her partner, Pierce Grayson, who moved in with his son, Hendrix Grayson. After Chloe and Pierce broke up, Hendrix moved out and Nicolette Stone and Jane Harris moved in until Nicolette ran away. Mackenzie Hargraves and Freya Wozniak moved in before Chloe soon invited Kiri Durant to move in. As part of the series finale, Chloe put number 24 up for sale. Shane Ramsey bought the house again on behalf of Maria, though when his business plans fell through, Mike Young took over the sale. Now we're off to visit number 26, the second of the three original houses on Ramsey Street. Let's knock on the door, shall we? Number 26 was closely associated with the Robinson family from the serial's beginning. Number 26 was occupied by Jim Robinson, his mother-in-law, Helen Daniels, and his four children, Paul, Julie, Scott, and Lucy Robinson, when Neighbours first began in 1985. As the children moved out, various relations stayed at the house including Jim's long-lost son, Glenn Donnelly, and Jim's wife, Beverly Marshall's niece and nephew, Katie Landers and Todd Landers. Lodgers included Nick Page and Matt Robinson. After Jim's death, following a fatal heart attack in the kitchen, number 26 became home to Wayne Duncan and Julie's family which included her husband Philip Martin, his children Debbie and Michael, and their only child together, Hannah. In 1997, Helen died in the living room of number 26. Philip's new partner, Ruth Wilkinson, and her two children, twins, Lance and Anne Wilkinson, moved in. The next family to move into number 26 was the Scully family, consisting of Joe, his wife Lynn and their three daughters Stephanie, known as Steph, Felicity, known as Flick, and Michelle. The family hosted various friends and family members through their tenure, including Connor O'Neill, their son Jack, and his girlfriend Lori Lee. The family expanded with the birth of Oscar. Following several departures, the Timmons family moved in with Lynn. The family was made up of Janelle Timmons and her children, Scott, 
known as Stingray, Dylan, Janae and Bree. Janae was the only remaining Timmins by 2007 who stayed on with Ned Parker and his son, Mickey Gannon. Later, Ned's brother, Steve Parker, moved in with his wife, Miranda, and their children, Bridget, and later, Riley. Lou Carpenter also moved in with the family, along with Miranda's sister, Nicola West. When Bridget gave birth to India, her husband and India's father, Declan Napier, moved in, followed by his mother, Rebecca Napier. After Bridget's death, the Parkers left Erinsborough and returned to Oakey. Steph Scully moved back in with her mother Lynn, and they were joined by Steph's stepdaughter, Summer Hoyland. After a fire broke out at the end of 2010, number 26 became a share house with residents Kyle Canning, Jade Mitchell, Mark Brennan, Michelle Tran and Reese Lawson. Kyle's dog Bossy became an addition to the household for the next four years. Joining Kyle was his grandmother, Sheila Canning, who moved to Erinsborough and later purchased the house in 2015. Kyle's friends Chris Pappas and Kate Ramsey moved in, followed by Sheila's daughter Naomi Canning. Kyle's wife Georgia Brooks later joined the household. After Naomi's departure, Sheila invited Amy Williams and her son Jimmy to move in. In early 2016, Sheila's granddaughter Xanthi Canning moved in. Kyle left the street to reunite with Georgia before the amnesiac Jack Callahan moved into the spare room for a short while. Following his release from prison, Gary Canning moved in until his death in 2020, after which Kyle moved back in. Sheila adopted Gary the Pigeon, believing it was a reincarnation of her son, as well as Prue the Pigeon the following year. Kyle's cousin, Constable Levi Canning, moved in after he transferred to Erinsborough. Roxy Wallace moved in after she and Kyle married. Three months later, Kyle and Roxy departed Erinsborough. Sheila left for Los Angeles to be with Naomi and decided to sell the house before Levi moved into number 28. Number 26 was then bought by the Rodwells, Andrew, Wendy and Sadie. However, they decided to move on a few months later. During the series finale, the Rodwells decided to stay put after all. Now we're leaving 26 and moving on next door to the last of the original three houses, number 28, Ramsey Street. Let's knock on the door, shall we? Number 28's first owner was Des Clark, who bought the house for him and his fiancée Lorraine Kingham to live in. Following their failed wedding, Des invited Daphne Lawrence to move in. They eventually married and became the legal guardians of Mike Young. Des and Daphne's son Jamie Clark was born soon after. After Daphne's death, Des and Mike stayed on for a while, but Des eventually sold number 28 to Doug Willis and his wife Pam Willis and their children Adam, Brad, Gabby and Cody. After the Willis family departed in 1994, Dr. Carl Kennedy and his wife Susan bought the house and moved in with their three children, Malcolm, Elizabeth, known as Libby, and Billy. Carl and Susan took in various friends of their children over the years, including Toadfish Rebecca and Joel Samuels, as well as family members Darcy Tyler and Ellie Conway. Other lodgers included Laurie Lee, Taj Coppin, Cindy Watts, and Stingray Timmons. Carl and Susan's dog Audrey moved into number 28 and lived there until her death 10 years later. Susan married her second husband Alex Kinski in the house shortly before he died. His children Rachel, Zeke and Karsha all moved into the house. Carl and Susan remarried and they continued to take in teenagers who need help. Sonny Lee was a foreign exchange student who stayed with the family for a while. Later years saw Alex's nephew Nate Kinski move in, as well as the return of their grandson Ben Kirk and Susan's niece Ellie. 
Ellie's sister B. Nilsson joined the family in 2018 before the reformed criminal Finn Kelly was housed with the family the following year. Later in 2019, the Kennedys took in Hendrix Grayson temporarily as Asta Conway was born. After Ellie and Asta moved out, Hendrix moved in permanently following his father's departure. Levi Kenning moved into the home in 2022. Now let's close the door on Carl and Susan Kennedy and move next door to number 30, best known as the House of Trouser. Let's knock on the door, shall we? Number 30, first occupied by Carol Brown and her family at the beginning of the series, followed briefly by the Sutton family. Later in 1985, Jim Robinson rented number 30 for his son Paul and his new wife Terry. After Terry shot Paul and was sent to prison, Paul then moved back to his family home. The Simpson family then bought the house. In 1988, Edith Chubb bought number 30 and moved in with her nieces Bronwyn and Sharon. When Edith moved to the country to nurse a sick relative, Hilary Robinson moved in to look after Sharon and was later joined by her son, Matt. Dorothy Burke purchased the house in 1990 when Hilary moved away and her niece and nephew Tiffany and Ryan later moved in. After they left, Dorothy took in Toby Mangle when his father Joe remarried and moved away. Later Phoebe Bright moved in after her father suffered a heart attack. Phoebe gave birth to a daughter Hope and married Stephen Godley. Dorothy rented the house to Phoebe and Stephen after she moved away with Toby and her new fiancé. The Godalibs decided to take in lodgers and their first was Russell Butler who kidnapped Hope refused to pay his rent and later fled Ramsey Street. The next lodgers were Beth Brennan and Stephen's brother Mark. Phoebe and Stephen left Erinsborough and Mark took in Annalise Hartman and Rick Alessi. From then on, the house was seen to be more of a share house, always taking in the rejects from the rest of the street. Mark's sister Serendipity moved in following Annalise's departure. Luke and Jen Handley moved in and Rick moved out. Luke and Serendipity moved to Japan not long after Cody Willis moved in. Sarah Bowman moved in with her sister Catherine O'Brien, who later left for England with Malcolm Kennedy. Teacher Lisa Elliott moved in for a while as well as Ben Atkins and his sister Caitlin. Ben and Caitlin moved out in 1998 and Sarah's new housemates were Joel Samuels and Toadfish Rebecca. After Sarah left in 1999, Lou Carpenter bought number 30 at auction. Lance Wilkinson and Amy Greenwood fought over Sarah's place in the house, with Lance winning. Lance later moved out and his place was taken by Dee Bliss. After Joel left, Stuart Parker moved in and Dee went missing, presumed dead after her wedding with Toadie. Connor O'Neill then moved into the house and number 30 became known as the House of Trouser. When Lou decided to sell in 2004, the boys bought number 30. Stuart's girlfriend, Cindy Watts, moved in along with Stuart's brother, Ned. Stuart and Cindy left and Connor disappeared in mysterious circumstances a few months later. When Toadie briefly left for Sydney, he asked Ned to find some new tenants. Ned selected Fraser Yates, Pepper Steiger and Will Griggs, unaware that Toadie had promised his room to Rosetta, known as Rosie, Caminetti. After a vote was taken between the housemates to decide who stays, Ned was voted out. Will left and Fraser's younger brother Ringo Brown moved in, along with Rosie's sister, Camilla Caminetti. Pepper left at the end of 2007 and Daniel Fitzgerald moved in. When Fraser and Rosie left for Italy, Ringo moved out. Samantha Fitzgerald stayed in the house briefly in April of 2008. Later in 2008, Toadie took in Callum Jones as his guardian after his great-grandmother became ill. Libby Kennedy moved in with her son Ben and she later married Daniel. Lou also moved in after Lynn Scully threw him out of number 26. 
He later moved into number 24 with the Ramsey children. After their marriage fell apart, Daniel left town and Libby and Ben moved out. Stephanie Scully and her son, Charlie, moved in with Toady and Callum, while they pretended to be a couple. After the secret was exposed, Steph moved out again. Sonia Mitchell agreed to move in with Toady and Callum, and when her sister Jade arrived, Toady invited her to stay too. Later, he asked them to leave when he discovered Sonia was Callum's mother. After Toady and Sonia made up, Sonia moved back in. Following Susan Kenny's separation from her husband, Carl, Toady invited her to move in. In early 2012, number 30 underwent a makeover when Sonia pushed Toady to redecorate and they changed the colour scheme from drab plaid and brown to a brighter, more retro look. Towards the end of the year, Toadie's cousin, Georgia Brooks, moved in. At the beginning of 2013, Toadie and Sonia's daughter, Nell, known as Jellyfish, was born. Sonia invited Steph to move in again, following her reintroduction to the series. In June 2016, Sonia's father, Walter, briefly stayed so she could support him while he tried to overcome his alcohol problems. In 2018, Hugo Summers, Toadie's baby son with Andrea Summers came to live in number 30. Between October and December 2018, the Rebecca's nanny, Alice Wells, lived in the house until her true identity as Andrea's mother and Hugo's grandmother was revealed. When Sonia died after a short fight with cancer, Toadie invited his brother, Shane, his wife, Dippy, and daughters Yashvi and Kersha to move in to number 30 along with their dog, Clancy. Mackenzie Hargraves was later invited to stay too. After Kersha, Clancy, Shane and Dippy left, a recently returned Amy Greenwood temporarily moved in with Toadie, Mackenzie and Yashvi for a few months. Yashvi departed for Sydney to live with her family while Amy moved back in with her daughter Zara Selwyn. Melanie Pearson decided to move in with Toady when they declared that their relationship was progressing. Once Toady and Melanie got married, they put their house up for sale as part of one of the series' final storylines. Amy and Zara moved out, and after some convincing from other neighbours, Toady and Melanie decided to stay at number 30. Let's move down the road and across the road from number 22 to number 32 Ramsey Street, the last of the six houses that featured in Neighbours. Let's knock on the door, shall we? Number 32 was first featured in 1986 when Nell Mangle was introduced along with her granddaughter, Jane Harris. Mrs Mangle took in Harold Bishop as a lodger before her son, Joe Mangle, grandson, Toby Mangle and their dog, Bouncer, moved in. Both Mrs. Mangle and Jane soon departed and Joe's fiance Kerry Bishop and daughter Sky Bishop moved in. Matt Robinson and Melanie Pearson became lodgers. After Joe and Melanie were married, they sold number 32 and moved away. The house was bought by Rosemary Daniels on behalf of the Daniels Corporation and it was rented to Faye Hudson and her son Cameron Hudson. The Martin family moved in and later rented it out to Malcolm Kennedy and Danny Stark, and then to Angie Rebecca and her son Stonefish and Toadfish Rebecca. The house continued to be rented to several regular and recurring characters, including Ruth Wilkinson, Mike Healy, Tess Bell, Daniel Fitzgerald, and Dee Bliss. The house was then bought by the Hancock family, and later Max Hoyland, who lived there with his children Boyd and Summer Hoyland and wife Stephanie Scully. Following Max's exit, Toadfish Rebecca and Ned Parker briefly moved in as lodgers. At the end of 2006, a hostage situation involving Steph, her son Charlie, Toady, Zick Kinski and his sister Karcha occurred at the house after Guy Sykes threatened them with a gun. Steph later had Libby Kennedy, Ty Harper and Zeke stay. In 2010, the new Erinsborough High Principal, Michael Williams, moved in with his daughter Natasha. 
Michael departed in 2012, leaving Natasha alone in the house. The house was then later sold to Troy Miller. After Troy died, the bank sold the house to Lucas Fitzgerald and Vanessa Valenti. Vanessa later invited Lou Carpenter to move in with her and Lucas. After Vanessa and Lucas moved to temporary accommodation near the hospital, Lou's daughter, Lauren Turner, husband Matt and their family, Mason, Amber and Bailey moved in. Later Brad and Lauren's daughter Paige Smith moved in after her reunion with her birth parents. Daniel Robinson moved in to help the family after Matt Turner's death. Both Brad and his father Doug moved into number 30 in 2016, marking the first time Doug Willis had lived on Ramsey Street in 21 years. Doug died shortly after. Following Brad and Lauren's exits, they rented the house to Shane Rebecca and his family, which included his wife Dippy Rebecca, their daughters Yashvi and Kersha, along with Dippy's sister Mishti Sharma and Kersha's dog Clancy. In 2019, number 32 became the share house for the street after David Tanaka and Aaron Brennan bought it from Lauren and Brad. Residents in the house during David and Aaron's ownership included Chloe Brennan, Kyle Kenning, Leo Tanaka, Roxy Willis, Scarlett Brady, Ellie Conway, Nicholas Stone and a returning Jane Harris. David and Aaron's foster child Emmett Donaldson and his brother Brent Colifax moved into the house for two periods between 2020 and 2021. Unaware that she wasn't their child, David and Aaron later took in Abigail Tanaka until her true identity was revealed. Jane and Nicolette moved back in along with Nicolette, David and Aaron's real child, Isla Tanaka Brennan. Aaron, David, Nicolette and Isla planned to move to New York with Paul Robinson as part of the series' final episodes. When Paul decided to stay in Erinsborough, everyone in number 32 decided to remain as well. And that concludes this episode of my Neighbours series spanning nearly 40 years of drama. If you like this video and want to see more of this type of content on my channel, please do the like and subscribe thing and hit the notification bell for future videos. Also, you can pop a comment down below. Let me know your favourite characters and storylines you wish for me to dive into. Until then, take care. I'm Creative Flair. Mm -hmm.